are. All right, good morning. Uh, is this Mr. Gilbert on the LG phone? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. And uh, Mr. Travis is here on the defendant's behalf. And this is the date set for a probation violation hearing in file 203269SD1. Uh, Mr. Travis, uh, what does your client wish to do this morning? Your Honor, he would uh, acknowledge and, and admit to the probation violations. All right. So, uh, Mr. Gilbert, is that correct? You want to admit to the violations? Yes, it is, Your Honor. And uh, you understand that uh, you do have a right to a hearing to contest all of these violations, and Mr. Travis would represent you in uh, contesting those? Yes. Okay, and uh, you want to waive that right in order to plead guilty to these violations? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you understand that uh, a probation violation could result in your uh, being uh, your, your probation being revoked and you being sentenced to up to 93 days in jail. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And no one's promised you anything or forced or threatened you to get you to waive your rights to a hearing today. Uh, that's uh, your decision, correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So is it true you were placed on probation for impaired driving on July 27th, 2020? And as a condition of that probation, you were required to take and pass preliminary breath test to prove you weren't using alcohol. Is that all true? 
Yes, Your Honor. And uh, is it also true that on April 18th uh, in the morning, uh, you tested positive uh, for alcohol. There's a reading of a 0 0.068 and then a 0 0.61 and then a 0 0.68 again and then an 0.57. Uh, so uh, somewhat consistent results there. But is that true? Yes, Your Honor. And is that because you were, in fact, consuming alcohol prior to testing? Yes. Okay. Uh, there uh, is another uh, allegation that you missed your preliminary breath test on May 16th, 2021. And uh, is that also true? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And finally, uh, the report alleges that you failed to report on time for your monthly April report. Is that also true? Yes, Your Honor. All right. You agree that was uh, required as part of your probation, and so that would be a, another probation violation, correct? Yes. Okay. So then to all those violations, how do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. All right, I'll accept your plea, find it's voluntary, accurate, and understanding. Mr. Travis, uh, what would you like to say on behalf of Mr. Gilbert before I uh, decide what to do here? Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, speaking of Mr. Gilbert, th this past couple months have not been um, the best for him. As indicated in, in the um, recommendation sheet, uh, the night in question, his grandmother had passed away. Um, he also, around this same time, uh, it ended um, his um, relationship with his long-term girlfriend. He's a young man, I believe he's only 24 and they'd been together for five years. Um, he's uh, also uh, basically living back with his mother due to the breaking up of that relationship and some difficulties finding housing. But in, in talking with him, he's, he's got a, a pretty positive plan going forward and a pretty positive outlook. Historically, he would um, work with his father or other folks in the carpet laying industry that kind of had an, uh, a downturn during the winter and then a pick back up in the spring. Um, unfortunately, uh, his, his father didn't have the, the pick back up in business in the spring, so wasn't able to rehire him. Um, so... Mr. Gilbert's actually taken that opportunity to, to, to start looking for other different, more steady types of employment and um, actually has um, hopefully uh, got two uh, potential opportunities to be a forklift driver, uh, both of which will, will be more steady jobs with, with better benefits. Um, so he's, he, it has not been a great last two, three months for him, but, but he's got a pretty positive outlook about what he's going to do to improve his situation. Okay, uh, thank you. So, Mr. Gilbert, is there anything you want to say to me before I decide what to do? Um, yeah, uh, I guess I just hope, you know, you don't think uh, I'm just some bad guy over the violations. Um, I do know I shouldn't have drank, and I know, obviously, there are consequences of my actions. Um. I guess I kind of just made myself look bad and I regret that decision. Okay. Uh, now there's, uh, I guess some, uh, issue whether you've completed the basic awareness group and, uh, can you give me any more information about that? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I just recently paid off the last hundred dollars I owed. It was uh, probably a week, week and a half ago. Uh, I had talked to a woman up there. I can't remember her name, but um, she told me she'd try to get the paperwork in as fast as she could. And I guess obviously it hasn't got to you guys yet, but that is fully paid off now. Okay, uh, because apparently that was a holdup getting a letter from them to confirm you'd taken the 
done the counseling. Um, so I'm glad that's been complete anyway. Are you uh, currently uh, working right now? Not at the moment, no. But um, as the lawyer had said, I do have multiple opportunities. Um, I was actually told to wait until uh, after today, see what happens to actually go forward with those opportunities, just so I didn't get employed and then have to go to jail or anything like that. Um, no, I didn't right. want to Word. Well, that, that makes some sense, I guess. So, all right, this is sentencing then on the defendant's uh, probation violations. Uh, the case started out uh, where uh, the defendant was at uh, Northland Foods uh, in Kingsley, and uh, apparently his car caught fire, and uh and in uh, investigating that, the police determined that uh, the defendant had been consuming alcohol. He had a 0.143. And a substance use evaluation indicated that there was, in fact, a substance use disorder. Uh, what that means, sir, is uh, uh, you have a problem when it comes to consuming alcohol. And... Uh, it's affecting your life. Obviously, it's affecting you today in a very uh, tangible way. Uh, you're looking at uh, going to jail, uh, possibly. And uh, the uh, good news here is that uh, this is only the second conviction the defendant has. Uh, the, uh, or I should say, the first conviction the defendant's uh, prior offense, the marijuana charge was dismissed after a successful probation, but uh, the, uh, the good news is the defendant did complete the community service work. He's paying his fines and costs. He's completed the counseling, apparently. Uh, I'll take your word for that, even though uh, we haven't received the actual uh, letter from CHS yet, but uh, the, the bad part of this is that the defendant uh, continues to consume alcohol. And, you know, uh, when you drink alcohol because of something bad happening in your life, uh, like your grandma passing away or something like that, uh, that's a, actually even more of a concern because that's what you do. You turn to alcohol when uh, things go bad and, uh, that's even more alarming than if you just, I, I guess, overdid it at a party or something like that. Uh, you know, this shows a dependence on alcohol. And uh, so uh, as much as I would like to help with that, we've at least given you some of the basic tools here with the basic awareness group to seek out that help yourself, because I think you're going to find that... Uh, you know, this is just going to continue to cause problems in your life, whether they're legal problems or otherwise. Uh, and you really need to get it uh, figured out. And uh, so anyhow, uh, the uh, defendant has had several uh, previous probation violations. Uh, and as a result of that, he's already served 11 days in jail. Uh and uh, again, this only being his second involvement with the law, I think the recommendation is uh, appropriate. The probation is revoked, is unsuccessful. And uh, I will have the defendant uh, turn himself into the jail for the three days that's recommended. Uh, and uh, let's see, I'll uh, require that you turn yourself in. Uh, by 6 p.m. tonight, that's at the Grand Traverse County Jail, and you will be there for three days, and uh, probably, uh, let's see, it's uh, two, or Wednesday today, so Wednesday, Thursday, you'll be out Friday morning, and uh, 
That's it. So uh, anything else for you, Mr. Travis? Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. We're all set then for today. And uh, again, I hope you do uh, think about this and, uh, and how you might better address uh, your alcohol issues. Uh, the people at Catholic Human Services are terrific. And there, there's other folks out there, too, uh, that can help. So... Thank you. We're all set for today. Feel free to sign out. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Travis. So we'll be in recess until our 11 o'clock preliminary examination uh, with uh, People versus Anthony Kachira. Shoot, I forgot to respond. Ah, uh, oh, shoot. Okay, well, let me look. View three. You take a look at our printer, it says it's in an error state. Hmm, sure. Just when you get a chance. Printer. Have you ever printed anything off that printer? Yeah. Yeah, I'm printer. Off that computer out here. Oh. And it's talking about the Minolta. Oh.
Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so are we ready to go on the prelim and will this be um it'll be going a waiver. forward? Okay. It'll, be, it'll be a waiver. Okay, thank you. Mr. Settles, I'm not sure why you're here. I don't have you on my docket for anything. Uh, Laura, oh, I had, Laura, yeah, I'm sorry. Judge said a judge said a stip came through on that. Yes, it did, and it's been it's been signed. Yeah, did you maybe you didn't get a copy yet? Is that what what's going on? No, I do have a copy. I just wanted to make sure that oh. I appeared. I see. Put it on the record what that I do do have a copy. That you do have what? That I do have a copy. 
Oh, okay. And you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, you don't need to be here. So that's up to you. All right. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, Judge, we're ready on the prelim, and it will be a waiver. Thank you. He'll be out in one second. Thank you. Sure. Mr. Twister, you're muted. You're going to have to unmute, sir. Thank you. Good morning. This is file 215063FY, People versus Anthony Kuchera III. And Mr. Alhart is here for the defendant, Mr. Atwood for the people. This is the date set for preliminary examination. And Mr. Alhart, what does your client wish to do? Uh, Mr. Alhart, I can't really hear you at all. Um, but you're not muted. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm speaking very quietly. Can uh, you hear me? Now I hear you just fine. Yep, thank you. We're going to waive or give up our right to a preliminary examination, Your Honor. All right. Uh, so uh, no doubt you've talked to Mr. Kuchir about that, and he, he's agreeable to the waiver then, correct? That's, ac that's accurate, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Kuchir, uh uh, that's what you want to do as well as waive your right to a hearing today. Yes. All right. And uh, let's see. Uh, Mr. Atwood, are the people agreeable to waiver as well? We are, Your Honor. All right. Then uh, paperwork. There you go. All right, then the uh, def examination is waived. The defendant is bound over to circuit court to appear next on June 18th at 1 p.m. for the circuit court pretrial. And that is on the charges in the complaint. Is there any uh, thing we need to take up before the circuit court arraignment? No, Your Honor. Okay. We Go ahead, Mr. Alhart. We'd waive the reading the information, Your Honor, request a not guilty plea be entered and request that his bond be continued, Your Honor. All right. And you've no doubt explained to the defendant the nature of the charges and maximum penalties. That's accurate, Your Honor. All right. So uh, bond is continued. And uh, we're all set for today. Good luck to you, Mr. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Hey, we're uh, in a general.